and welcome to my WWE SummerSlam results slash thoughts video. Hi, let's do this. So at the kickoff, we had the kickoff match, which was the pre-show. As we all know, I didn't watch it, but I heard that RVD won by disqualification. But as we all know, by disqualification rules, uh, the title does not change hands. Dean Ambrose still has the title, but I'm glad that RVD baited um, Dean Ambrose. Right. I don't know what happened, so maybe the shield came out or Dean Ambrose used an illegal move. Um, so that's that. Uh, could be that. Alright, to kick off SummerSlam, we had the first match, which was in the proper pay per view. Uh, we had Bray Wyatt versus Kane in a Ring of Fire match. Now, it's just as I thought. It was like an Inferno match, but instead of an Inferno match, you have to put your opponent on fire. You have to set them on fire. Um, but in a Ring of Fire match, you don't do that whatsoever. Um, the ring is surrounded by fire, but um, the only way you can win is by pinfall or submission. There's no disqualification, so nothing can happen. Um, but um, the reason why that was for is to prevent the rest of the Wyatt family from getting into that ring. But that didn't stop them whatsoever because they used the fire blanket to get into the ring. They used the fire blanket and then used the steel steps to walk on, climb over the ropes and then they hit came with it and then made Bray Wyatt win the match. So Bray Wyatt has won that match. So if it wasn't for the rest of his family, he wouldn't have won. So... But that was that. So, congrats to Bray Wyatt. That's that. Next is Cody Rhodes versus Damian Sandow. Now, honestly, I thought that this match could have been for the money in the band briefcase. Like, after what Damian Sandow done to Cody Rhodes when they were Team Rhodes. Honestly, I didn't... I um, actually thought that. And um, Damien Sandow was mentioning um, psychics. Like he thought that he was Batman and um, Cody Rhodes was Robin and all that. You know, all those um, DC comic book, um, DC comic superheroes. And um, he did mention Sherlock Holmes and um, Dr. Watson. So that was that. But anyway. Who won this match? Cody Rhodes did. I'm very happy that he beat him, beat Dan, Damian Sandow to get revenge on him. That was a perfect thing, but I still think it should have been for the money in the band Brave Case. So, but well done, Cody Rhodes, for getting your revenge on him. That was great. Next was um, Natalia versus Briar Bella. Now, this was um, something new that I didn't even know because it was um, there's a show going around called um, Total Divas and then um, Natalia and um, the Bella Twins and the Funkin' Dactyls and all that are in it. Apart from Caitlin and AJ Lee, I've never seen them in it uh, so far. But um, they were there, um, the Bella Twins, but... Bria Bella was facing Natalia in just a si singles match. I'm very happy that WWE has now put them in a show which they can now like get together and all that, like socialize or like um, fighting matches and all that. Um, so I'm very happy for that. Um, but Natalia defeated Bria Bella, and I'm very happy because she locked her. In the sharpshooter. She did. She locked up in the sharpshooter. That was awesome. Natalia to do. So well done to you. That. So. That was awesome. Next was. The World Heavyweight Champion. Chip. Alberto Dorio. Versus. Christian. And Christian said. Clearly. Before the match begun. That he said he wanted one more match. For the World Heavyweight Championship. Because he has been world champion before. He's been world champion, intercontinental champion, 
a tag team champion with Edge. This match was brilliant. It was just phenomenal. It wasn't the best out of the lot, but I still will give this a good rating as well. My rating on this match will be like um, a 6 out of 10 because this was awesome. Um, but our butt of the Rio still is the World Heavyweight Championship because he beat a Christian. And, oh my God. Hopefully, we might see him lose the championship at the next pay per view, which is Night of Champions. So, hopefully, we'll see him lose that. Alright, next we had Hulk versus Wolverine. Yep. Marvel comic books in because everybody was saying it. So we had the best in the world versus the beast. Yep, we had CM Punk versus Brock Lesnar. Though, and Paul Heyman actually did say this. He did say this. This is his words, not mine. The only reason why Punk was the best for is because of Paul Heyman's help. If Paul Heyman didn't help him, he wouldn't be called the best in the world. So that's that. But, I'm money in the bank, Paul Heyman betrayed him, and that was good of Paul Heyman to do that, betraying him. Um, <coughs> because then it means that we get to see Brock Lesnar again, and we did. This match went on for ages, including CM Punk locked Brock Lesnar in the triangle Um I think it was like a triangle chokehold or something like that. Um, twice. And Brock Lesnar did not give up. He even locked him in the Anaconda device and he didn't give up. So that's the strength of Brock Lesnar. He never gives up. <laughs> that was awesome of him. But still, Brock Lesnar defeated him with an F5 onto the steel chair. Oh, did I mention that the match was a no disqualification match? No, I didn't. <laughs> it actually was a no disqualification match because Paul Heyman made the stipulation that it'll be that. And I was very happy about that because I was watching it and I was aiming for Brock Lesnar to beat CM Punk and he actually did. And I'm very happy that he did. So well done Brock Lesnar. You're the best. Next we had the mixed tag match. Dolph Ziggler and Caitlin. Versus Big E Langston and EJ Lee. Now, as my prediction said, that I said in the predictions video, I wanted Dolph Ziggler and Caitlin to win. They didn't disappoint. They actually did beat Big E Langston and EJ Lee. And good riddance as well. Because, um, I, honestly, I didn't like... I didn't like AJ Lee's attitude, especially what she did at Money in the Bank um, to Dolph Ziggler. And um, I felt sorry for the guy. I wanted him to get revenge on AJ Lee. And perfect match to do it would have been in a mixed tag match or, or a singles match against Biggie Langston. But also Caitlin as well, because Caitlin lost to AJ Lee twice in two pay per views. Uh, she lost to her. A payback and money in the bank. So um, maybe she lost another previous pay per views. I don't know. But that was that. So well done to Dolph Ziggler and Caitlin for beating Big E Langston and AJ Lee. Now the last and final match was the WWE Championship. John Cena versus Daniel Bryan. And with special guest referee, Triple H. Now, this match was phenomenal. It was just amazing because you have the strength of John Cena and you have the technicality of um, D. Bry, Daniel Bryan. Because we all know that Daniel Bryan is the best technical wrestler now to date. Even, that, even I know that because I've, I've actually seen... Daniel Bryan, Russell, and like, at events before, and he's a great technical wrestler. He's a phenomenal technical wrestler, even for John saying the standard as well. But other than that, um, like, as I said in my prediction video, I wanted John Cena to win, but it would have been nice if 
Daniel Bryan won the title and then Orton comes out and cashes in his money in the bank. He did exactly that. That's what exactly happened. So after the match, Daniel Bryan won celebration. Yay, woo. Then out comes Orton with his money in the bank briefcase. He walks up to the ring. He stops. And then he walks back. And I thought, like, ooh, he might be saving it for another thing. But then, guess what? Triple H, the special guest referee, pedigrees Daniel Bryan. And Orton cashes in the money in the bank. And he won it. Just like that. Because Triple H is out. So we could be seeing Evolution again. So Evolution could be reunited again. But the only two wrestlers that will be missing is Ric Flair and Batista. Them are the only two that um, need to be. Or we could be seeing a betrayal again. Like, you know, when um, I'm going into the past here. <coughs> well, it was SummerSlam anyways. Do you remember um, SummerSlam, two th- I think it was 2004, I think it was. Let me think. 2004, 2005... When Randy Orton won the World Heavyweight Championship match against Chris Benoit and became the youngest World Heavyweight Champion. And then the next year, Evolution had a celebration party. And then all of a sudden, Triple H, thumbs up to thumbs down. So we could be seeing that again. So we could be seeing the story between Triple H and Randy Orton. I would love for that to happen. So I would love to see a little reunion and then a betrayal again. So Triple H could be going for Randy Orton. I would love to see that happen. Anyways, guys, this has been my WWE SummerSlam results slash thoughts video 2013. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe and share this video. Hope you've enjoyed this video and peace, peace.